the whole scale of sustainability, we have degenerative activities and then we have regeneration, with sustainability being really in the middle of it all. You know, we could be striving for more than sustainability. We're going beyond sustainability. That's what permaculture is all about. It's going to regenerate a landscape to start being more productive and that's better for the entire ecosystem, for plants, for animals, for insects, and, and for human benefit. berry bushes, nut bushes, perennial vegetables, things like that. Over the past year and a half since this project got started, amazing things have happened. We had over a thousand volunteers total show up to help in the sheet mulch, the design, and the implementation phases. That included students and staff, as well as local community organizations and local schools. We grew over a thousand pounds of produce in about 3,500 square feet of bed space all while transforming a campus unproductive space into one that's thriving and sustainable and educational for the campus community. I think it's better, I think it tastes better, I think it makes the food look better. The staff is excited, they're getting fresh herbs and vegetables, the students are excited, they get to produce food for their campus and other students, um, and the local community is getting a site that's educational, that they can learn from and uh, get ideas and then go out and mimic them in other places. There are thousands of students who walk by here every single day, students, faculty, and staff. So we can't feed them all, but what we can do is show them a new way of thinking about how land is used and where food is grown and who is growing food. So we can change those paradigms. And that's, that's sent a pretty big ripple effect out there. People are contacting us from other schools and also from other countries, and it's just been really inspiring. It just feels good to say, oh, you mean we can actually not just be consumers, but we can actually be creators for what's good for us. And it, to me, it's about power. I mean, when I wrote Diet for a Small Planet 40 years ago, it was such joy of realizing that I didn't have to be a victim. I came into this class kind of not knowing what I could do or what my abilities were in terms of Im making a real impact. And that's kind of shown me, everyone in this class has shown me that if you take the initiative and you have the will and you have the drive, anything is possible. People are starting to come to UMass because of what we're doing here and how unique and cutting edge of a sustainability program we've developed. Pretty much all the students on campus you ask know what permaculture is and um, that's actually, I'd say that's pretty unusual. And to have an entire campus of you know, 20,000 plus students who understand the, the concept, even just at a surface level, is really an accomplishment. The senior class gift, they pick one project each year that they want to donate their money to, and this year they picked a permaculture garden. This is nice because it's really small, and it's complex because there's a lot happening with, with these different buildings, you know, different spaces. It's incredibly compact and rocky. Um, not even our pickaxe could, could get through it. So right now that's kind of the, the commitment that we're, that we're working on is to do one garden on campus each year or one permaculture landscape on the campus each additional year. So looking ahead for 30 years we're going to have more of a, a campus that is turning into an ecological landscape, ecological campus that's producing food and education for the entire campus community. As we align with nature, as we align with nature's rules, there's more than enough for all of us. And so to me, this garden connected to the food service here and actually showing the incredible abundance that we can create locally is, is evidence that these scary messages are false. We can go out and we can really restore these damaged or unproductive ecosystems and start growing food on them and start to strengthen our local communities and strengthen our local economies and make our campuses and our businesses and our homes and our entire lifestyles more sustainable.